I get a lot of questions if may bar or board exam ba, what to expect, and kung mahirap ba yung pinag-aaralan. So, to tell you guys honestly, What's up and welcome back to my channel and for the first time visitors, welcome on board. I'm Chaska Karandang. Sana may enjoy at marami kayong matutunan sa channel ko. In this video, we are going to talk about yung mga expectations niyo in getting your pilot licensure exams. And of course, mga tips for you to study as well as mga naging helpful secondary reviewers like mobile and PC applications to help me prepare for the exams. As I have mentioned in my previous vlog, for you to be a license holder may it be a private pilot, commercial pilot, or instrument rated, you must complete the required ground school simulator hours if there's any and the actual flight hours. Talking about flight hours, I used to write manually in paper logbooks. But with LogPen Pro, I can record my flight hours digitally with such ease, accuracy, and security directly into my electronic logbook. You won't even have to worry about damaging or losing them. This app has a lot to offer. A great feature here is that you can import your schedule on the Mac and have it automatically sync with your iPhone and iPad. LogPen Pro even tracks my limits such as the rest duty or flight duty period. What more, when you want to update and validate your flight log hours in CAAP or the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, just print your electronic logbook. You can even choose a format to print your logbooks such as ASA, Jeppesen, etc. and compile them with such Oh, you'll see. If you want to know more about the product and other beneficial features this app has to offer, check the link in the description section below. You can also use my code to provide you with a longer 3-month free trial. You must also acquire the NTC license and English language proficiency at least level 4. You must also pass the medical examination, the practical flight test, and the oral examination or the check drive. And lastly, pass the ATO knowledge test or the airman licensure exam. So, ito yung pag natin today. And also, I get a lot of questions if may board exam ba, if may licensure exam, or kung mahirap ba yung pinag-aaralan. So, to tell you guys honestly, oo lahat naman sa umpisa mahirap. But one thing is for sure, it gets easier. <laughs> no, it doesn't get easier, you just get better. I'm going to give you tips on how I study. So develop a good study habit. Trust me, this would help a lot if you're in the airline industry, ka na, hindi lang naman puro lipad. you also have to study the aircraft system, operations, limitations, and procedures. So what I did is to create a weekly schedule, so dedicate at least two to three times a week for two hours for you to study then. Plan out mga topics na aeralin mo. So make sure lang yung pinakamahirap yung muna. Then, of course, take strategic breaks para ma-improve yung quality ng study. So, breaks in between, sobrang importante yun. So, I follow the Pomodoro method. Take a break at least 5 minutes for every 25 minutes of study. So, you can do some stretching para magising or have some coffee or snack during your breaks. Or update sa partner. Oh, ma <laughs> mamaya for sure may magko-comment na sana all may partner. <laughs> Ako, huwag na huwag kayo mag-social media. Guilty ako dyan. Yung 5 minutes ko, minsan nagiging 30 minutes yung break. Minsan, mas mahaba pa yung oras ng pagsascan ko sa social media kaysa sa oras ng inaral ko. Let's now talk about the knowledge test or the theoretical examination. So, may board exam nga ba in becoming a pilot? Technically speaking, we don't call it as board exams, but knowledge or written test or theoretical examination. But somehow it works that way, like board exam, because in order for us to acquire the licenses, one of the requirements is to take and pass the written exams, like any other professions. So take note also that for every license, like PPL, CPL, and IR, we have to do the written examination. 
So imagine the long beses kang mag-exam. So unlike other professions like nursing, doctor, lawyer, engineering, etc., na meron specified date for you to take your exam like annually or in groups. For pilots, schedule is up to you when you want to take it. Just go to ka app and magpa-schedule. Before nag-accept sila ng walk-in, but now not anymore as far as I know. Pinaka gusto ko when taking the licensure exam is per subject of take. Unlike sa other profession na uh, one day lang ang take and if you fail Lahat na ng subject failed ka and you have to wait again for another year. Pilots, you can retake the subject na napasa mo and yung nabagsak mo, you can retake it again and again and again and again hanggang mapasa mo na lahat ng subjects mo. So unlimited retakes naman din yan. So during my time, you just have to pay around 250 pesos or to 350 per subject. So depende yan sa type of license na in exam mo. So mas mahal yung subjects ng CPL as compared to the PPL. So these are the subjects that you are going to take. Air law, aircraft general knowledge, flight performance and planning, human performance, meteorology, navigation, operational procedures, principle of flight, and radio telephony. Mostly, the number of items per subject is 25 to 40 items and 70% is the passing score. You would know right away after you click the answer kung tama o mali. So after you complete the exam, you will know if you pass or fail. Ka. So, <laughs> grabe na alala ko yung sang mistake na lang babagsak na ako. Tapos may limang questions pa ako natitira. So grabe na. Nadasala ko talaga yung bawat answers ko. So luckily, pumsa naman. So ang goal ko, one take lang talaga sa lahat ng subject. Pero meron talaga ako isang nakasira ng goal ko. So hindi ako pwede maging lawyer guys. Kasi yung air law, yung pinaka nahirapan ako na I had to retake it. So ngayon, share ko naman yung mga helpful na mobile and laptop or PC applications na super reliable. So dito lang ako mostly nag-aral sa applications na to. And super similar yung mga questions and choices or answers. So I'm not sure if na-revise na nila yung questions kasi 2017 pa yung huling exam ko. So when I say similar, super similar talaga. So let's start with glaze. So, ito yung interface ng Glames. I'm currently using Windows 10 operating system. I'm not sure if may version for Mac OS. So, if you want to start, just click on Create Session. Then, meron kang four options like Study Session, Test Session, Standard Test Session, and Continue Saved Session. I usually use the Study Session because every item sa test, it explains sa'yo kung bakit yun yung sagot. So, matututo ka rin talaga. So, let's click. As you can see, this is good for all types of licensure exams like PPL, CPL, and IR. So, we it for ATPL and Flight or Ground Instructor. So, let's choose Private Pilot, then Specific Claim Chapter or Chapters and Modules. Then, click Next. Then, just click what chapters you want to study. Let's try Chapter 1. Then, click Next. So, you may select number of questions between 1 to 35. So, depending on certain topics. So, may chance na up to 100 yung questions depending on topic. But in this case, let's just pick one question for, for sample. So, for our 1 million peso question, <laughs> What is the purpose of the rudder on an airplane? Letter A, to control the yaw. Letter B, to control the roll. And letter C, to control overbanking tendency. Hmm. Pero pang call a friend dito, guys. <laughs> to answer this question, I pick letter A. So, as you can see, and explain kung bakit yun yung sagot. Anyway, pag tapos mo na lahat yung questions, you will be graded if pumasa ka or hindi. So, ayan yung grade report. Ang difference lang sa test mode, sa end na ng session mo, malalaman yung score mo and walang explanation yung answers. Now, let's discuss the mobile apps or the mobile applications. So, I used the prep where it cost around 500 pesos per app and it sold separately. So, I bought three apps, the PPL, CPL, and IR, and it's available for both Android and iOS. Same concept lang with claims. Merong study and test mode. Both are really helpful for me. If I have my laptop with me lang, I use the claims kasi mas maraming questions. But when I'm outside, I use my phone to review. Lalo na when I'm waiting for my turn sa exam. So sa phone lang ako nag-review. 
So I'll be sharing aviation related ebooks for you to read during this quarantine. So para may idea kayo on what to study in flight school. We have a Facebook group na you can join. I'll just put the link in the description below para magkaroon kayo ng access to files. So sali lang kayo sa group guys kasi may mga giveaways gonna exclusive long for us mga ka crew. I just want to highlight that it's not about studying harder and studying longer. It's studying smart. So, pag may days off ka, reward yourself. Mag unwind ka to restart your brain. Being a pilot is all about passion, hard work, and discipline. Becoming a pilot is more than having flying skills. Hindi naman din ako top notcher sa class and everything. As in, tiyagaan lang talaga. Ina-assess ko yung self ko, yung capacity ko for learning. Like, kini-figure out ko talaga yung ways or your or practice na suitable for me para matuto ako. So you don't even need to be a math genius or a rocket scientist for you to succeed in this profession. And I, myself, I still have a lot to learn. What's important is you make learning fun. Don't see it as something na obligation. Study because it enhances you and grows with you. It's all about having the right mindset and attitude. Enjoy the journey because the journey is the destination. So choose your habits carefully. They decide for your future. So take a deep breath in and out. You can do this. So if you get tired, learn to rest but not to quit. That's about it guys. I hope you learned something new today and if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and see you again on my next vlog.